so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create these kind of stylish hair in blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and for making these hairs i have used one free add-on that name is kami okay so here you can see i will uh, share this link also you have to just go to the gumroad.com and here you will see that guy okay who created this add-on and that name is kami and if you guys want to do support to him so you can uh, do some support otherwise that is free add-on basically you have to just add the, your email id and that click on the follow you will get the link into your email id and from where you can download the all resource file and uh, all the terms and condition as well okay so you will get this link into the description you can download from there so now let's back to the blender so here you can see guys here we have uh, some stylish and cool hair okay so first of all i just want to delete everything something like that okay so we have uh, that kind of object first of all here and then i'll just tell you how you can install that add-on you have to just go to edit your preference and from okay and then you have to just click the install and you have to just locate your uh, file where you have downloaded and then click the install add-on so from here you will see that uh, kami add-on something like that okay you have to just enable from here then you have to just click the save preference if you already click this auto save preference so you don't need to change anything after that you have to just cut this add-on uh, section then you have to just press the any your keyboard then you will see that kami add-on from here so right now here you can see we don't have anything here because it's asking for to uh, select your characters to start so first of all we we'll select this object and when we'll select this object here we will see one option it's called uh, start drawing so we'll just click here start drawing okay so when we uh, click this start drawing we have a uh, that kind of brush here okay from here you can change the uh, the blazer from the cursor to surface also uh, change blazer as a poly you can change from here as well and there are some other uh, properties of these uh, brush basically there is pressure there is max and radius you can use if you and if you want to change according to your suitability you can change otherwise just keep it by default okay so first of all you have to just start drawing something like that and you will get the hair something like that and that's look great we have to just draw these here okay continuously i'm just going to drawing and here you can see we have some cool hair here okay i'm just going to hide everything so we can see only here here you can see that's look great that is very easy basically you have to just draw uh, here according to your uh, the requirement and you will get the hair something like that here you can see that's look great by the way okay and there are some properties i will also talk about these properties how these uh, properties will work also so first of all i just want to draw some hair something like that yeah i think that's look great that much hair is enough right now to understand you okay so here you can see we have a that kind of hair and that's look great then first of all here we can see some option it's called a taper start and taper end so that is basically the uh, the start point of these taper and that is the end point of these curve basically so if you want to decrease and increase the size of these taper so you can uh, do from here so if i will just do so if i will just decrease the size here so when i just start the drawing so here you can see we have a uh, some thick part from here and that taper part from here so you can manage from here so i'm just going to keep it by default 30 okay so here we have uh, some bevel mode basically for uh, right now we select this uh, profile basically by default we uh, if you want to change it as a round so you can change the round here you can see we have a uh, some round shape here and if you want to change as a uh, object so you and you have to just select uh, any object and that object will uh, work as a bevel object basically okay so i'm just going to keep it as a profile okay and that is the basically depth so that basically increase the thickness of these uh, bevel basically under this depth we have uh, some resolution also so here you can see if i'm just going to increase these resolution so we'll get some uh, smooth bevel edges and if i'm just going to decrease we have uh, some edgy uh, and uh, very smooth and uh, very low poly kind of bevel basically so i'm just going to keep it by default uh, five i think oh, five is look fine and from here we have uh, some preset also if you want to change any kind of preset from here you can change here we have uh, some preset here you can see that will change the whole bevel shape here you can see if you want to change but i think uh, default is look fine to me and if you want to do uh, manually you can create manual by the way here you can see here you can see that's also fine but i'm just want to do control z because we don't want any kind of manual basically and here we have uh, some offset option basically it will uh, increase the 
the offset of these bevel and uh, that is very cool feature basically that is a smooth strand and straightened strand basically so what is does exactly we have to just select all uh, these uh, bevel basically first of all then we have to just click this smooth stand so it will it will uh, become a smooth here you can see and then we have to just click the straighten stand so it will going to become a straighten and then you have to just click the flatten stand so you will get some good and stylish here here you can see that's look great by the way okay and here we have uh, some mode as well here we have uh, some spiky mode and here we have some flat mode so it will change uh, when you will uh, draw again uh, anything so here you can see when i'm just going to spiky so here we have a taper is a zero start taper and end taper is zero one three when i'm just going to flat so we have uh, some by default setting here and in the end of we have uh, some uh, cool option it's called convert to mesh so if you guys want to do change these uh, of uh, convert into a mesh so you can convert from here and here we have uh, some resolution as well if you want to change the resolution you can change it and then you can just convert it okay and one more thing guys if you want to change any kind of shape of these bevels so you can just hold these points then you can just move it according to your suitability here you can see we can move it anywhere if you guys want to do here you can see that's look great if you want to change any kind of shape you can change from here as well okay and in the last you have to just select all your uh, curves then you just hit the convert to mesh and it will convert as a mesh here you can see and now we have a in a mesh format as well and then you can do anything whatever you want to do with them okay so that's how you can use that kami add-on and that is very cool and easy add-on basically and i hope you uh, like this add-on and uh, don't forget to download this add-on if you guys want to do support to him so you can support as well that is the all about this add-on that is very cool add-on i think so if you guys want to do create a hair so you can try this add-on that is very cool and easy add-on basically and you can give a basic shape of any uh, kind of hair style and thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys